Sup, Chooms, how y'all living? Hope everything is Nova and you're all having a preem week. So, it's time to get back to the subject of hair again, but today, I'm going to go over a much narrower subject, specifically the effect of using minoxidil on the color of our hair. Personally speaking, I noticed my hair went from a blonde to a medium brown when I started using minoxidil. In my teenage years and early 20s, I had blonde hair, but it has been brown ever since I started using minoxidil. But in the past several years, I have noticed some gray start to appear on my scalp, but I am over 40 years old, so I just assume that was a natural part of aging. I haven't really thought much about the connection between minoxidil use and hair color, because up until now, there hasn't been a lot of medical research on the effect of minoxidil and the color of our hair. That is, of course, until this very interesting study you see right here just appeared last year. So as far as I could tell, this is the only article that has ever looked systematically at how often hair color changes with minoxidil use. The authors of the study point out that in their experience as dermatologists, they have witnessed hair color changes with minoxidil use. But surprisingly, there isn't much research about this potential side effect of using minoxidil. Now, minoxidil has been around for a long time now. In its oral form, it was first approved in 1979 for treating high blood pressure. In 1988, it was approved as a topical treatment for treating hair loss. The topical form was specifically developed in order to avoid the side effects of oral minoxidil which include not just problems like hypertrichosis, which means growing hair in unwanted places in the body, but also serious cardiovascular side effects, like pericardial effusion, which can be deadly. Unfortunately, oral minoxidil has made a strong comeback despite those potential serious side effects, but that's not the topic of this video, and if you want to know my take on oral minoxidil, I have a whole oral minoxidil playlist that I'll link below. But I brought up the origins of minoxidil because there have been many randomized control trials of topical minoxidil, and none of them have ever mentioned hair color change as a side effect. Maybe that's because many dermatologists and even many patients don't think that slight changes in hair color are very important. However, with my own personal experience using minoxidil, as well as with threads like this one on Reddit suggesting that minoxidil can change hair color, it seems a little strange to me that this subject hasn't been researched more. Despite my own personal experience with minoxidil use possibly changing my hair color, there's only a few case reports of hair color changing with minoxidil, like this article here from Dr. Rodney Sinclair. In that article, Dr. Sinclair describes the case of a six-year-old girl who presented with a very rare form of hair loss called loose antigen hair syndrome. She was a originally treated with topical minoxidil, but then at age 11, she was switched to oral minoxidil at a dose of 0.5 milligrams per day. Her hair got better and the condition resolved, so minoxidil was stopped for her, but with the minoxidil treatment, her hair turned from a red-brown to a light-brown. The picture is supposed to show the two color of hair she had, though it's kind of poor quality here. It does look like her hair darkened closer to the roots compared to the ends of her hair, but overall, I don't think the changes were that significant. Dr. Sinclair wasn't even sure that the minoxidil darkened her hair at all. He thought that maybe the hair got darker because her rare hair loss condition just went away on its own. So, getting back to the new study on minoxidil and hair color, like I said, it was published in 2024 and it's from Saudi Arabia. The study was done using two surveys that were distributed on social media. The first survey was for people using minoxidil and the second survey was aimed at dermatologists. 453 people answered the first survey, 68% of the respondents were female, and 86% were Saudi. It's likely the survey was written in Arabic, so it's not surprising that most of the respondents were Arab. Most of the subjects were young, between 18 and 34 years old. The vast majority of them were using topical minoxidil, and only 2% were on oral minoxidil, so the results of the study really mostly applied just to topical minoxidil. The main result of this study was that 26% of the subjects noticed graying of the hair while on minoxidil, and 14.8% of subjects noticed other color changes. The most common color change besides graying was changing of hair color to light brown in 46% of subjects. There were only two factors that predicted the graying of the hair. One was a family history of early hair graying, because gray hair, just like hair loss, has a genetic component to it, and the other was the duration of treatment. That's the main result of the survey of people using minoxidil. The other survey was a survey of dermatologists. There were 57 dermatologists who responded to the survey. 42% of the dermatologists noticed graying in some of their patients on minoxidil, but only 17.5% felt that the graying was actually due to the minoxidil. 10.5% of the dermatologists noticed other hair discoloration changes besides graying, and most of the time, this was a change of the hair color to light brown, similar to what I myself experienced, so I can definitely relate to the results of this study. Study. So, 
The study concludes, quote, Graying of the hair was the most common color noticed by participants, followed by different shades of brown and yellow. Our findings suggest a possible association between changes in hair pigmentation and minoxidil, unquote. So, this study is definitely interesting, but it is also extremely limited. First of all, people who thought they were having hair color changes on minoxidil were probably much more likely to respond to a survey on minoxidil hair color changes like this than if they weren't having any color changes. So, the actual percentages of people with hair color changes are probably exaggerated here. Secondly, many people have strong paranoia about gray hair, and a few gray hairs can be found even in young people. So a survey like this suggesting that minoxidil causes gray hair might make some people suddenly think, aha, that's why I'm having some gray hairs. It must be from the minoxidil use. So it's kind of a similar situation to the self-reported studies on post-finasteride syndrome, where people who have sexual problems who have used finasteride in the past jump to the conclusion that it must have been the finasteride. Like in those cases, there's no way to tell if the gray hairs were actually from using minoxidil, and it looks like most dermatologists were very skeptical that minoxidil could cause gray hair. I also think that if minoxidil could cause gray hair, we would have seen more case reports by now just due to topical minoxidil's ubiquity, as well as the fact that it has been on the market for decades. Also, the fact that there was an association between a family history of premature graying and gray hair supposedly from minoxidil use suggests to me that maybe the people with hair graying were just having it because they were genetically predisposed to have hair graying to begin with. The brown color was probably really from minoxidil, because this brown color is often the color described in anecdotes about minoxidil hair color changes. It's also the color that my hair changed to when I started minoxidil. So, my conclusion from all of this is that I do think that minoxidil can cause hair color changes, not just because of my own personal experiences, but also because this article does seem to suggest it occurs, though, like I said, I wouldn't trust the actual percentages in this article because it's just a survey and not a prospective clinical trial. So I think hair color changes can happen with topical minoxidil, but it's probably pretty rare and I am an outlier. However, in the case of gray hair, I doubt that minoxidil actually causes gray hair. Gray hair occurs naturally in everybody who lives long enough to experience it, and it's very easy to blame minoxidil for something that is just so common. Gray hair isn't nearly as unfair as hair loss, because unlike hair loss, everybody eventually gets gray hair, and that's one of the reasons why it isn't nearly as bad as hair loss, and you can also dye your hair to try to conceal the gray. In order to actually prove if minoxidil causes gray hair, what it would take is a randomized controlled study looking specifically at hair color changes. The randomized control studies of minoxidil that have already been done don't mention any graying of the hair or changes in hair color at all, even though those had thousands of subjects. So, even if hair graying were a possibility, the chances are so low that it's not worth getting worried about. Even if it did happen, I'd imagine most people would rather be gray than bald. I'd rather look like Geralt of Rivia than frickin' Moby. So, I am skeptical of hair graying being a possibility with minoxidil, but I do think that some hair color changes can occur, but it's too rare to worry about. And for some people, these hair color changes may even be a positive thing. Personally speaking, I think I look better with darker hair, so I really don't miss my old blonde hair from my youth at all. So, okay, chums, that's all I have to say on this subject, but thank you so much for watching. I will see you all next time. God bless.